All right, fellas. Let's see if I can uh, show you how to do some routing. Um, when you guys get your email, what you're going to do is you're going to log into your email the way you generally do. You're going to open it up, and it's going to look like this. Um, I've explained this form to you guys a couple of times. You got your raw data, you got your worked, and you got your final version, final copy. I'm going to tell you exactly what that means in a second. Um, on the bottom of the sheet, you got your disco tracking. This is what you guys are familiar with seeing. This is what you guys print out. This is where you have your tag numbers, your job numbers, your addresses, all that good stuff. Um, this is your data sheet. This is the one that's going to carry all the information. And then you're going to have your streets and trip your streets and trips form. The information that's in here right now, all your addresses, is going to automatically be under streets and trips. It's automatically going to be there. So what you want to do is you want to open up your Streets and Trips program. Uh, there it is, Streets and Trips. Let's open this sheet back up. And go back to data. Um, when you're using Streets and Trips on the top where it says route, I'm, I'm sorry, not route, data, the first option is Import Data Wizard. Click on Import Data Wizard, and what you have to do is you have to tell this uh, the, the streets and trips where to find the information from. This is the file that I saved. This is the file that I have. So I click on the file and when you click on the file, which is this one that I have open right here, see how it says data, DTS, disco tracking sheets? Those are the names of my sheets. Data, DTS, and disco tracking sheet. Well, we're in the streets and trips program. So obviously you're going to pick, pick uh, streets and trips. Double click on Streets and Trips, it's going to find all your data, hit finish, and it's going to load all the addresses. These are all the Waterbury addresses um, that I have for um, Monday. So it automatically loads the addresses. Now that I've got the addresses, I'm going to maximize the map program so I can see it a little better. Um, once all the addresses are basically pinpointed, that's what all these little dots are here. I know it's hard for you to see, but there's a whole bunch of little dots. What you want to do is you want to come over to um, your legend on your left and it's going to say you know the, sh the name of the sheet that you pulled the data from you want to right click on that and go add push pins as stops when you add the push pins as stop it's going to automatically assign a number to every single one of these little push pins which is a stop these are all discos that need to get done once that's been done and you've added your push pins as stops, you want to go over to the little car at the top. That's your route planner. This is what's going to allow you to move the jobs up and down. So you click on route planner and then all of your jobs for the day are basically listed here on this legend. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to tell the program where I want to start and where I want to stop. So I'm going to zoom into, this is the Waterbury area again. This is usually where we start. So I know if we're going to start here, we're probably going to want to do a circle, get all these jobs done, coming around this way, and we're probably going to want to stop up here. So then, you know, our, the tech that's working in Waterbury can get home. So now, this stop is set up as number 18. What I want to do is I want to come over here. Here you have move up, move down, delete, and delete the entire route. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up, because I want to move it up to first position. Now you can sit here and you can click on this button repeatedly to bring it up, but a faster way of doing it is just click on it once and then hit the enter key on your keyboard. And it automatically brings it, you see how it's green? Automatically brings it up to the one position. Then I have this air, this one here, which is where I pretty much want to stop. So I'm going to make this one the last stop. So instead of moving it up, I'm actually going to move it down. So again, I don't have to continuously click on this down arrow. I can click on it once and then with my enter button on the keyboard I can keep hitting enter until it gets to the last number. The last number on this route is 41. And you'll know you get to the last one because it's also going to turn red. So there it goes, it's red. So now we have our starting point and we have our ending point. Um, once you've selected your starting and your ending point, what you have to do is you have to click on optimize route. And that's basically going to put all the jobs in order, starting from point one and finishing at point 41, or your last point that you've selected manually. So you're going to let the program do its thing. 
thinking, thinking, thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. And there we go. So it's made this one one, the start point, end point. So let's see how the program did. You can zoom in if you have a mouse, uh, a wheel mouse, you know, wheel mouse. You can actually roll it in and out. Or you can use the plus and the minus here, plus and minus. So we've got one, two, three. It's got us going up. Five, four, five, six, seven. That looks good so far. Eight, nine. Nah. Scott is going this way where I feel because you have a stop over here personally I feel we should come here first come around loop around instead of going this way that way and then back out so what I'm gonna do is this one here is 9 I'm gonna zoom in to what it calls position 14 and 15 and I'm gonna make that 14 I'm gonna make that 10 then I'm gonna make 15 11 and I do that again by pushing the up and down buttons on it. So if I've made that 11, text going to come around this way, you know, up sunny side, down Buckingham, and we're going to make this one 11, that's going to be 12, this one's going to be 13, this one's going to be 14, oh, I went too far so I can go back, that one's going to be 15. Now text going to come down here, it's going to do 16, and we're going to do 17, 18, let me zoom in here, see what's going on, 17, 18, 19, and it's got us going down this way and back up. So what I'm going to do is instead of going down to come back up to then go down again, I'm going to make this 17, 18, 19, I'm going to make this one 20, this will be 21, 22, and now he can come across the bridge, do this one 23. And again, you just move the jobs around just so that you know they can uh, follow a straight motion. I don't like it when the routes are going back and forth. I know you guys think I might do it on purpose. Sometimes I don't have a choice. But I want to keep the tech kind of flowing. So here you got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This should be 23. This right here, these right here, right here, 23. That'll be 24, 25, 26, keep flowing, 27, that's 28, there's nothing over there, 28, 29, 30, 31, come back up, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 34, 35, 36, let's make that 37, you can come back up, nope, so we'll make that 39, that'll be 40, we'll change that to 40, and that'll be a stop, and then he can go ahead and go home, so now pretty much the route is done, we're going to follow it, make sure that all the numbers make sense, because there's times where, you know, like numbers just don't make sense, um, you know, I might have accidentally turn that one into a seven or you know the wrong number so I always you know come back and double check so I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine all right so now the route is done we have everything in order the way that it should go. Now we have to move the jobs into work. What I do is I usually use my finger just to kind of keep point of where I'm at. So I want to go to 11, 11 Gross and Waterbury. That goes there. And then you move it up to the work. You got to highlight the whole number. Then you go to 194. Where's 194? This is the part that usually takes a lot of time because you're looking for every individual address one at a time 194 prospect here it is move that to this you know the second job because that's the second job in place then you got 133 133 pine 406 
406 Willow, yep, 406 Willow. And what I usually do is I just kind of look for the number. The next one is 71. Here's 71 Plaza. Next one is 232 Hillside. 150 Manning is actually right underneath it, so I can actually highlight the two. And what I'm doing to highlight the actual address is 20. See, this is 27 Robins. And there's 27 Starlet. I do that sometimes, and then you guys end up going back and forth, so you want to make sure that you guys get the right job. Find 27. Twenty-seven robins. Sometimes it gets a little hard to find them. Your eyes start playing tricks on you. What you can do is you can highlight any 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 field, and you press Control F, and that brings up a search box. And if you just put twenty-seven space and just the first letter, usually it finds it. There it is, twenty-seven robins. So I'll close that out. You got twenty-seven robins. Three grand view. Two ninety three Dorchester three oh five nineteen sunset. There it is. And what I'm doing to select a job is you have to select the area between gray mark and gray mark. So you want to select the entire area. And you do that by clicking once and dragging the mouse across the until you've highlighted the entire area. Then when you see your cursor. When the cursor turns into a little star, that basically means it's, you're able to select that entire field and you can go ahead and move it up. So what you want to do is you want to click, click on the mouse, drag it across, turn it into like a little, a little crosshairs, little stars, and that means you can grab that cell and move it around. So, I'm sorry, I left off at 19. Eastern Street. 77 Eastern Street. Bunker Hill. Three forty four, four forty seven, forty two. Whoops. Ten fifty eight, Pink Street. Nine twenty-five. Well, you see now I've gotten a lot of a lot of them done. I'll actually select all of these and bring them down just so that they're a little closer together and I'm not going back and forth. Now I just can concentrate on this one area. So forty-two. Select them, move them over. Lunsbury, Pearl, Garwood, those were one right after each other, that was nice. Harper, Main Street, Gleason, 440, Mansfield. 75 Ardo 48 Craftwood Then there's I'm here at 48 but there's still a couple more so you just use the slide bar to bring out the more addresses 18 761 48 27 176 and 43. Now I notice that there's one address still here and that's 240, uh, 482 Bucks Hill Road. What you can do is you can just copy, right click, copy the address, come over here and then control V to paste it. Now it's going to give you Bucks Hill Road in Waterbury but it doesn't give you Connecticut so you have to type in comma CT because if you don't put in Connecticut it will never find it. 
And actually, it was already on the map. It was job number 38. See how it's 38 and 42? So I can go ahead and delete that. And I know that it's supposed to be job number 38. There it is. So it's between 42 and 27. All you simply got to do is highlight where you want the space, drag it down, and go ahead and insert it. Now let's say that the job was all the way up here. You know, you obviously don't want to have to highlight the whole thing to drag it down. What you could do is you could just highlight exactly where you want the job, right click and click insert. Push the cells down and it would actually give you a space so that you can go ahead and you can take if you had a job here and insert it in that spot. We don't need it, so I'm going to delete the spot. Now, we had the raw data. Now the raw data has been moved to the work data. Now that the data has already been worked, what you want to do is you want to select all the jobs that you just did, because if you go back to DTS, there's still no information here. You right click, copy, and then paste it into final. Once you've pasted it into final, you come over to DTS and now you have the address, the city, the tag number, all um, the job number, it's all there. Um, I would have put your tech number in here for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And I also would have put in the, uh, the date, so you don't have to worry about that. I just didn't do it when we started. So you come over here, now this is Jesus' route, 7256 is there, 8811 is there. Now, all you have to do is what you guys are already familiar with. This is how you get your form. And you would go ahead and you would click your tag numbers into here. The next video is going to be on how to pull tag numbers. So that's it. That's how you do your routing. Come over to DTS. All your information is there. All your tags are in here. Hopefully that helps you out. I'll make another video. We'll see if we can get it, you know, better. Thanks.